U.S. Army will launch ramjet powered supersonic missile from a cannon of a tank. The defense contractor NAMO has unveiled a potentially revolutionary concept for an air breathing, ramjet powered missile, which it is simply calling solid fuel ramjet missile, and we can launch it from a cannon of a tank. The U.S. Army has already expressed an interest in just such a projectile, which could also end up in service with the U.S. Marine Corps, and the round might finally offer a way for the U.S. Navy to make use of the cannons on its new, stealthy Zumwalt class destroyers. It was first unveiled in Eurosatory Arms Expo in the French capital Paris, which began on June 2018. A full-size mock-up of the design? The firm expects to begin live-fire testing of the projectile in 2019 or 2020 and hopes to have the new ammunition in production and in operational service with the military by between 2023 and 2024. This could be a game-changer for artillery, Thomas Dan Bolt. Vice President of NAMO's Large Caliber Ammunitions Division, said in a press release headlined We are basically launching a supersonic missile from a cannon. On June 12, 2018, with the exception of a small number of precision-guided shells with 50 to 60 kilometers range, approximately 30 to 40 miles. The U.S. Army's self-propelled M109 or towed M777 have maximum ranges of around 12 miles using standard high-explosive shells. Using rocket-assisted ammunition, they can hit targets closer to 20 miles away. NAMO is separately working on an improved, rocket-boosted ramjet shell for the service. By extending the length of the howitzer's barrel, the Army is hoping to nearly double those ranges. That still won't be anywhere close to the more than 60-mile maximum range that NAMO says it will be able to get out of its ramjet-powered projectile. The ramjet round uses the force of launch to get it moving fast enough to start the ramjet motor. A solid fuel source will get the projectile up to a maximum speed of three times the speed of sound and keep it moving at that speed for approximately 50 seconds. However, the solid propellant offers an efficient fuel source and will help keep as much space as possible free within the body. Pop-out fins and an unspecified guidance system will steer the projectile to its designated target. A GPS-assisted inertial navigation system arrangement will almost certainly guide the shell, at least at first. A laser or millimeter wave radar guidance package could add additional flexibility to the system in the future. These systems could allow the projectile to hit moving targets at long ranges and, in the case of a laser-guided round, with manned or unmanned aircraft or forward-deployed troops on the ground or otherwise sharing that information with the artillery unit. There is no set-in-stone firm requirement for the Ramjet project and the project is entirely a private venture on NAMO's part, Dan Bolt said at Eurosatory 2018. So far it is, but that may change. But the U.S. Army is definitely aware of and interested in the concept. At the Association of the United States Army's Global Force Symposium in March 2018, U.S. Army Brigadier General Stephen Moranian specifically mentioned ramjet rounds among other potential future artillery concepts. And in the same vein, NAMO's ramjet round could be an ideal option for the U.S. Navy to add the presently ammo-less 155mm guns on its Zumwalt-class destroyers. NAMO's Dan Bolt declared that the ramjet projectile could completely change how traditional artillery units operate. With the significant added range, those elements would be able to potentially operate with smaller footprints better shielded from threats in both low and high-end conflicts area. Whatever happens, there's no denying that the ramjet artillery shell, 
if it works, will be an impressive feat of engineering and could offer game changing capabilities. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.